Hi you guys, we are Hannah and Nathan and this is Claudia, our first camper van build. She is a Volkswagen Caddy Maxi and when we bought her she was just a bog standard ex-British Gas Works van. But not anymore. During lockdown number two, we spent three and a half months bringing her to life with our ideas, teamwork and dedication. This is our van tour video. So Claudia is not just used as a camper van, she is used as our everyday ride. So what we'll do is do a quick tour of the cab because we spend a lot of time in it and then we'll head over for the fun stuff. Because Claudia is a little bit retro, uh, she doesn't have an auxiliary. So what we have uh, for music, we connect the sp our Spotify to the Bluetooth speaker. And yeah, that's how we get our music. Keeping with the retro theme, our sun visors were tatty and a bit pointless. So we've wrapped them in the Hassan to match the curtains. And we've also added these mirrors. And this is one of my favorite parts of the van. And we have Baby Yoda, uh, Claudia's little mascot. We just love him. Also, uh, we have a dream catcher, which looks pretty quirky and hopefully will send some positive vibes out while we sleep. We've also got this little bit of colour for the van with Claudia's name engraved. And it just slips in there and keeps our drinks from tipping over. And finally, we've just got these black and grey seat covers that match the dash and the doors just to tidy it up because the other ones were a bit dull. And now on to the good stuff. So with the van we wanted to get a nice cosy feel but as well we wanted to feel like we we're outdoors camping as well so we've got this nice worktop an off cut of oak and we've cut it all up sanded it all up stained it and as well as being a worktop we've also fitted gas struts so it lifts up so when the bed's pulled out we can access the inside of our cupboard yeah and our cupboard doors just open like this and it's unbelievable the amount of stuff that we've been able to get in here. Um, we've tried to think of everything, but I'm sure the more we use the van, um, the more that we'll come across things that we need. But yeah, there's plenty of space in there. So in our top shelf, uh, we've got the kettle, we've got cups, uh, we've got plastic cups, we've got chopsticks, we've got cutlery, we've got all our utensils, um, oil knives, wash, baby wipes, cleaning stuff, wash up the clean, gloves, bin liners. Everything we can possibly think of that we'd need, uh, we've just got access to on this top shelf. And down here is where we keep all of our collapsible things. So we've got a collapsible uh, draining board, a collapsible washing up um, bowl, a collapsible waste water bowl, uh, a collapsible colander as well. Um, yeah, and that just all fits quite snug down there. So this little section of the cupboard was my section as you can tell is a bit messy we built it without a shelf uh, mainly because with the main item is our big gas bottle for our double cooker we've also got five liters of water for washing up we've got the little gas and the little portable cooker and we've just got other cleaning stuff dustpan and brush dashboard cleaner to, just to keep claudia nice and tidy and i really love the dustpan and brush so moving around to the side of the cupboard we've cladded both sides uh, just for a decorative touch and I wasn't keen on this but we got tea towel holders anyway and I actually like them more than Hannah so that's why we've permanently left these in because I just feel it makes it more homely. Plus it's just super convenient to keep our uh, nice clean tea towels on here. Uh, we do have about six of these um, small tea towels which we can just swap and change them as and when we need. Around this side of the cupboard is our bar. Cheers. And just as we started uh, in the cupboard unit area, uh, we've got our nice pretty garland up there, uh, which we just love, it looks fabulous. We've also had our sockets conveniently located, just so when we're plugging phones or anything into the sockets, it's just nice to be able to rest them onto the worktop. 
So the leisure battery is fitted behind the passenger seat and because of the layout of the van, it's actually underneath the floor, so it's about here. So it's out of the way and we've still got a bit of extra storage. We also have our fuse board not far from the battery. Connected to our leisure battery as well, we just have our six LED lights and the switch is just here. So it's pretty handy. And while we're on the subject of the leisure battery, we have three cigarette ports which are scattered around the van and we also have four USB ports as well, so we have plenty of charge to keep us going on our adventures. When we started the van, it was a blank canvas, so we decided we wanted the decor to be something we wanted but different to the house. So we went totally the opposite direction and we've had this Portuguese mosaic vinyl flooring. I really like this and the colours also go with the paintwork on the van and the rest of the colour scheme. With the offcuts I've just put on top of this unit here and the inside of the drawers are also lined with it. It's also sweepable, wipeable and easy to keep clean. So we are filming this van tour over the course of a couple of weekends just because there's so much to film, uh, hence the clothes change. And these curtains that we have, uh, they're more for like homely decor really. They don't really close um, at night. We've chose to just have them like this all the time. But what we have for, for at night is just some thermal uh, window covers for the cab and they work just lovely. While we're on the subject of the curtains as well, we've just got some of these Vanex curtains uh, just for the sliding doors and we've also got those for the barn doors too. Before we started building Claudia, we've actually hired a couple of camper vans and we've gone with this style bed where we've got the side bench that pulls out just because we felt with the rock and roll bed for us it didn't work and we wanted storage and we wanted something a bit more comfortable so that's why we've gone for this style bed. Yeah, the bed has lots of storage underneath, under this bit of the bed we've got the duvet, hot water bottles, uh, heater, basically things that keep you warm under this side um, of the bed. Uh, this half of the bed we've got all of our toiletries, we store our clothes in there, and um, basically all those little things that we need we've got stored under there. Also we have watched a couple of van tour videos and we stole this idea uh, from a YouTuber, they're called Van Haller, uh, go check them out. So uh, this cushion is almost like a little secret compartment because but it's, it may look like a cushion, um, but it's actually closed storage. Um, it's just a bit of a space saver, really. So we've got all of our things in there, walking trousers, fleeces, shorts, things that, you know, you don't mind getting creased. Uh, we've just rolled them up, folded them up and put them in here. And who would know the difference between that and a cushion? And now we're all set up with our awnings for living space. No use for this bit, so we're going to set the bed up. So, on to our kitchen, our twenty eight litre cool box plugs in just down here and it keeps all of our drinks and our beers nice and cool. We've got this little baton put in place just to stop it moving about and so far it hasn't fell over. And this is where we keep our cooker.
the contents of our roof box. So we have firstly Nathan's paddleboard, uh, which I'm sure he'll get a lot of use out of that. We've got our cassette toilet with our blue fluid. We've got our electric hookup. We've got our six person tent awning for extra room and storage. We've also got our fabulous VW camping chairs. We've got some uh, jump leads for just in case. We've got our mallet. Uh, we've got two umbrellas. We'll definitely be needing those at some point and our camping table. And not forgetting our beautiful outdoor rug too. So right above us is our 2 metre direct 4x4 awning which is mounted to our roof bars. Brilliant, 2 minutes to set up, 2 minutes to pack away. And over here is our 2.5 metre extension from the gaff lock. And in our drive away awning, uh, our 6 person living space, we've got all the kitchen -y bits here. We've got that little heater uh, for when we don't have electric, that's absolutely amazing. Uh, yep, yeah, all the washing up stuff, hot water bottles as well for when we haven't got an electric. Uh, we've got our little cassette toilet just shoved up the corner there. And then here, uh, this, this is our tea tonight. We've got a vegetable curry tonight, breakfast in the morning, apple cinnamon porridge, blueberries. Um, I love sorting and organising, so this has just been like heaven for me. <laughs> Yeah, so we just got our citronella candles to fight off uh, some of those midges. So with this bit of space here, when we're on a campsite with electric, we'll have our electric hook up in here to power our fridge, heating, laptop. But for now, we've got the gas. So we've just been pottering around Barmer this morning looking for a windbreak and we stumbled up this shop and we mentioned that we've got a VW and this bloke says he's got the perfect windbreak for us and look, it matches our chairs and if I had to pick my favourite thing about Claudia uh, this is what it would be, it's our little games room um, so we've got Monopoly, we've got chess, we've got drafts, we've got trivial quizzes a pack of cards, we've got a bat and ball, badminton for when we're at the beach I absolutely love this little bit of um, Claudia because it makes it look really quirky. So our shower is portable. It's supposed to be solar heated but we cheated and used the kettle. And last but not least, uh, behind the driver's seat, there's some storage as well. So we've just got a basic first aid kit behind there, an extra couple of old towels, um, medication bag, uh, tools that we could possibly need, a fire extinguisher and our carbon monoxide detector. We've also added an extra 12 volt socket to power our fridge. So that was our Caddy Camper Van Van Tour. If you have made it this far, then thank you so much for watching. We hope that this may be of some use to any of you guys out there who are currently converting a small van. We will continue to vlog our camper van road trips, so if you'd like to keep up with Claudia's adventures, then please hit subscribe. Cheers guys.